does that patch mean? That is just a patch. Welcome to the Stolen Valor Village Idiots Hua series. Let's go. So you're in the infantry? Uh-huh. Well, they send me my update information. What's your what's your what's your uh, what's your rank in infantry? Oh six. You're an O six? Mm-hmm. Colonel. Now I've seen a lot of shit bags. Don't get me wrong. Generally not colonels, right? With freebie bags, <laughs> like plastic bags, you know, which I wouldn't stereotype her as a colonel. Let me back up. If I saw her walking in the grocery store, I wouldn't say I saw a full bird on her. I wouldn't go, wow, that's legit. I go, something's amiss here. The army's really changed. Okay. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. And they want me to get there, so to do my update on my pay, so. Okay. <laughs> this recruiter's like, that's what I'm talking about. 06, baby. Moving up the ranks quick. Looks like a young colonel to me. I have any money to get there. You're, you're 06 and you don't have any money. That's why I wanted to come here to make a loan. So you come into a recruiting station to make a loan to get to the active duty base, if possible. Wow, that's some logic here. Go to the recruiting station to get money to go to the active duty base because she's a reservist. Her homework needs some work, right? She doesn't know the internet scams well. And of all places to scam, it's probably not the recruiting office because these guys are in the military. They know. Maybe to sit out in front of the Piggly Wiggly with the sign says veteran needs help to get back to active duty station. <laughs> you understand how silly that sounds, right? Mm. You, so you think that sounds perfectly logical? Well, they have the ACS department on the active duty basis right. and that can do emergency long. Vietnam and Korea. Vietnam and Korea, huh? Bad boy right there. Hey. What you want, a Coke? That's eight years. Eight years? So you four in Vietnam, four in Korea. So you spent four whole years in Vietnam? Now I've met my fair share of these Vietnam, as they I'll call them, drunks. Usually a little bit of the whiskey. They're not typically drug addicts. Usually their brain is so fried from the hog tranquilizers of the 60s. And they really come up with some stories. And sometimes you don't know if they're true stories. They could be. It's just hard to tell. And I'm saying with the safety vest, four years Korea, figure that was from 50 to 53, four years of Vietnam. Could have been there, the tail end when Eisenhower sent advisors, right? It's possible. Four whole years on one deployment. Yeah. Put it this way. I was behind the line. You was behind the line. <laughs> so what was your MOS over there? My MOS? Like a meat. That's my favorite part right there. What was your MOS, <laughs> MOS over there? Guy goes, my MOS, buddy, was to kill. That's it. Rank, none. MOS, not defined. Ultimate goal, kill. His MOS was to kill. I had finished in 2012. Okay. And you went to Fort Benning, correct? Like was. And your MOS was grounds? No, at the time I started at grounds, but I worked my way up to E5 and I was MP. I don't get this guy, the grounds. So so here's the story. This guy's waiting outside of something, probably a check cashing place. He's got his grunt style t-shirt on. Who cares, right? The guy comes up to him and starts grilling him. I'm not really that type of person. Like I could give a shit what the guy rocks with, but grounds. I don't know what that even is. You were an MP and you went to basic training at Fort Benning? <clears throat> and what MOS is an MP? Uh, no. You don't know? Mm -hmm. And you don't know what unit you're in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, he didn't pick Delta, right? Usually it'd be like Delta, Green Beret, and Ranger Recon, Sniper. He didn't pick any of that. I just said, you know, I'm an MP. Which normally, like, I wasn't a big fan of MPs because they weren't coming on and giving you gold stars. Usually are trying to bust you at the front gate for a DUI. That was kind of their thing. Like I said, I got a lot of personal problems as well, man. Nothing that uh, yeah, affected me working or, you know, doing things that kept a little bit of knowledge. It's just a hell of a Hold up. Classic internet gold, right? This guy's got it all. He shows up, I believe, at a funeral or graduation. He is decked out. 
but his metals were all like he was in a washing machine or dryer that kept spinning him and he just came right out. That's a lot of shit to be wearing. Looks like a first sergeant. That's a lot of gear. What happened with the with the presidential uh, crest that you had on there? Mm -hmm. What happened to it? You just had it on like an hour yeah, ago. Yeah, it fell off. So I got it. You got it? Can I see it? <laughs> Is it right if I see it real quick? Mm -hmm. If they train you one thing in the military, typically it's how to put your uniform together, right? You understand like how to put all the pieces on where nothing's falling off the uniform. Typically, I wouldn't expect that. It'd be odd for a guy this First Sergeant Davis's caliber. That yeah. Yeah. Back area. It took me yeah, 14 and a half. A man good. Yeah. Okay. David. I see a bronze star, a silver star. This guy just doesn't end here. He's got it all. He is one of the really noteworthy pieces of art we have here on the internet on the Village of Idiot series. It's a long one. I cut this one down because he just, it sums it up with a picture, really. The fumbling helps. Oh, this guy. I got five generals. Five generals? Five generals of what? General Hayden, I work for. General. Five generals, the guy says. He's like, I got five generals. We're not playing poker, bro. It's not like you got five aces in your hand. You got five generals. I'm like, all right. He gets up with this guy's grill. He's like, listen, bro, I got five generals. I got General Hayden. He's my boy. Yes, sir. Where at? Where's the location? He's all in like cognito Jason Bourne, but he throws on the ACUs. He's like, why are you wearing the ACUs if you're in the Air Force, but you're in the Army? He goes, I went to church. You go, oh, that makes sense. I got it. Got it. it makes total sense to me. You sure? Yes, sir. Can I see your ID card? Let me see your ID card. You can see mine any day. Alright. Army. A good man. Service. Good man. Are you sure you're in the military? Yes, sir. What unit did you serve with? 33rd. 33rd what? Yeah. I'm working with the 33rd. Just the 33rd, bro. If you don't know what it is, you haven't been there. Like your Bush League shit you got working. I'm in the 33rd. <laughs> this guy. He may just be like an escape mental patient from Arkham. And that may be his thing. I don't know what he's trying to get over on. Because he looks, this looks really bad. There's nothing on it. He just looks like a shit bag in, in a nutshell. Third what? Yeah, out of the Pentagon. There ain't no fucking uh, third, third yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, Pentagon. There's a secret service. 75th? <laughs> Second. We're seven we remember him. Now, this guy was getting the freebies on Black Friday. That was his gig here. Because you, you wonder what they dress up is. And there's a lot of people in the comment section like, oh, bro, why are you getting pissed about people wearing camo? I could give a shit. So, for the record, wear your camo, dress up. I could care less. I wore camo as a kid. My grandfather's greens, World War II, and my friend's dad's Vietnam era stuff ran around the woods. No big deal. These guys in this specific case... Wants the free stuff. It's Black Friday. Rock out of the uniform. Probably during the 2008 time frame, big push. Everybody's seeing Fallujah on the television. Everybody's all fired up about it still. 5th Ranger Regiment, 2nd Battalion. What's your MOS? My MOS is 11 Bravo. All right. I'm what's called Attack 1. All I do is I go out on missions. Where'd you get your... Uh... <laughs> I love the mission, guys. It makes it kind of easy. Like, listen... Uh, you know, I'm 11 Bravo, believe that's an infantryman in the army, but all I do is go on missions. So the rest of the shit bags, they do the regular infantry stuff. I just do missions. I'm a ranger. All the ranger stuff that people do, not me. Just missions, bro. Three CIBs at? Afghanistan. All three? All three. You know you need to be in three different campaigns to get three uh, three CIBs, right? This one was from Afghanistan. Okay. That's from Iraq. Okay. And that was from my second rotation back to Afghanistan. You know, no matter how many you do, you can only get one. For That's, Iraq, Afghanistan, yep. all three, you can only well, get them. You know that, right? Because uh, my campaign took me outside of mission lines from Afghanistan. <laughs> that does it's an easy excuse, right? Listen, you don't understand young army soldier my stuff took me outside enemy lines i wasn't in the normal rotation here and like there's a line right here and they drove across as inside enemy lines outside enemy lines there's like this magical line so when you do that you know when you're in this high tech like delta field they just hand out awards 
It's the way I understand it. Make any sense? And you're in second bet, Rangers. Yep. There it is. I worked with Schwarzkopf. I was a driver bodyguard for a while. Okay. Yeah, when we first went over to Desert Shield, yeah. and we were all sitting around doing nothing. Then Desert. Okay, so General Schwarzkopf, you don't remember, he was in as a young lieutenant during Vietnam. He was the general during Desert Shield storm. He did have Delta guys that were his bodyguards. And I guess this guy's saying he's a Delta guy of sorts, you know. The unit better left unsaid, but he's one of them. Storm broke out. So I stayed with him till that was over. Then I got then I came home. They gave me John Campbell. He's the head of John Chiefs of Staff. Wow. So he's one of my buddies on Facebook. Yeah. No, I just I, I never I mean I'm an infantryman myself. I gotta see I mean, I never met anybody with three. Why? We're walking because they're not it's not a lot. We're out there. I don't know how many CIBs you can get, but I guess not a lot. Now, hear me out. You were in, say, Korea, War II, Korea, Vietnam. Like a Hackworth kind of guy. Maybe you could get that. Be rare. If you meet the guy, you want to shake his hand. Now, he was in. The VA is not the best healthcare system in the world, but if you have 100%, you get your teeth fixed. His teeth are pretty bad. But maybe he's one of those under-the-radar guys, can't seem to figure out the VA system. And if you're indigent, I'm sure you can get the meth mouth fixed, I would think. And I'm not picking on it for that, but it looks miserable. It looks like a miserable plight to have. Find us some places here's, you don't find Here's them. the thing, though. What's so hot about it? It's, well, what's hot about it is there's only 324 people that have ever had a third award CIB. They're all in the I national I'm part of a select group, just like I've got three Purple Hearts. Right, but you, to be part of... on you in Korea? <laughs> I'm a select group. Now, I had a grandfather with two Purple Hearts in the Battle of the Bulge and D-Day. He didn't talk about it, and he's dead, and you know, you go through his stuff, you figure that out. He is part of a select group. Now, what gets me sometimes is the people who come up, the prosecutors, I'll call them. They know a lot of stuff. They, they, they're a record book, like the regulation codes, who's got what. I don't have that history. Maybe I missed it. Like, if I was quizzed, I'd be like, uh, I don't know the CR code for this. I'd be like, I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. My brother and I got home. I don't know. It's 1970. <laughs> Okay, so that cord signifies what now? Second infantry. <laughs> what the hell kind of patch is he wearing on his chest? He's got an American flag with an eagle. That, that's a dead giveaway right there. Unless maybe he's like a scout troop or a ROTC, I guess. Ah, this guy, he's he's new to me. I don't have a lot of experience with this case. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Is that your PTSD kicking in? I have a question. You're not in accordance with AR 670 1. No, no, for real, sir. I'm actually dead serious. There's no name tags. Your boots. Oh, we stole them out right there, man. I'm just letting you know, sir, and you can't even come up to my face. You're wearing a gold. A gold. I'm not actually harassing you. You're out of a. Just let you know I'm a disabled veteran. And I'm actually still a disabled veteran too. Okay, can you provide evidence? Can you provide evidence? Because that's exactly what stolen valor is. I'm a disabled veteran. You have no name tape. Why the hell do you have an American flag right on the center of your f freaking chest, man? But I, I do it differently. Our unit does. With the flag being on the side, the enemy can't tell it's America when we're coming at them. So we put it on the front of us to let them know that America's on their way. That's the, that's the biggest crock of, who the, what? Well, this is what I do with my job. But how, what I'm saying? Why would I make you run two miles? No. <laughs> if you were just building one. <laughs> I defuse bombs, I defuse grenades. What is your job title? Where's your MOS? Golf brother. Okay, what do you do? Engineer. If you're a combat engineer, why the hell you build house? You should be building tanks. You be playing with them guns? Question you How the hell you build house? They ain't all up in his brain. Nah, cause bro lying. Like he's not adding up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, how is it lying? Come on. First, he said he's built. He said he be he 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 work in Michigan. He already got a job in Michigan. How? How that work? Why are you going to basic training in Michigan? 
how, how, how you go to basic training for one day in Michigan? Exactly. Oh, for one day. It's not one day. How long did you go? Two months. When? After 